Many of the pioneers' towns in Constantoga wagons or spring wagons. These were large covered wagons. Many of the pioneers chose oxen instead of mules or horses because the oxen were much stronger. They would buy up to four oxen per wagon. Where did the pioneers ride? On the tents, the father would drive the oxen by walking beside the wagon. The children would walk behind the wagon much of the time. What was the wagon like? The wagon could not carry more than 2,000 pounds. There was a canvas pulled across the top of the wagon to keep rain, wind, and hot sunshine out. Many of the time, pioneers would rub oil on the canvas to make it waterproof. What if the wagon would break down? Front wheels of a wagon were smaller than the back wheels. This would help them turn. Underneath the back wheels, there was a bucket full of grease hanging from the axle. This was used to make the wheels run smoothly. However, the trails and rough terrain on which they traveled could still break one of their wheels. The people in the wagon train often would travel in groups to 20 to 40 wagons. This was called a wagon train. The people in the wagon train would not always stay together. If someone became sick or had an accident, they might be forced to fall behind and wait for the next train. There are even cases where someone would have an argument and decide to leave the wagon train. At night, At night the wagon trains would often form a circle for shelter from wind or weather, as well as carrying a crowd for the animals. Contrary to popular belief, Native Americans rarely attacked the wagon trains.